talk to the nominee. Uh, uh, Professor, you are inheriting uh, a service, and especially the police service, whereby internationally uh, on the police corruption index as a country uh, from the highest corrupt country, which I will not name, uh, we are number 10 at the index of 7.88. And the ratio of police officers in Kenya per population is one police officer serving almost between 800 to 1,000. Whereas the international knobs where Kenya has signed uh, to be part and parcel uh, runs from one police officer to about 300 to 450. Uh, Professor, it is important to have a view of this as you take up this most important docket, if you are approved by this house. There are several scenarios. One scenario is members of parliament put up police stations, police posts, and police uh, housing. And the last regime, without public participation, collapsed some of these units, and I can, I, I can attest some of those uh, properties are idle without police officers, creating an extra, uh, an extra exposure of uh, risk to Kenyans involved in those areas. The new policy, of, uh, I want to find out from you, what new policy will you put in place on recruitment of police officers? With this kind of index which I started with about corruption, you can be assured during recruitment, corruption is the center of who will be picked. And last is, how are you going to refurb the air wing, uh, police air wing department in the country so that you can be in total control of it? We know very well uh, the air services of the police were merged with uh, KWS, the army, and the rest, whereby they were collapsed to something which we cannot understand. And I believe you have said that you will deal with the issue of how to refurb uh, the police. I want to hear what you're going to do on the police air wing. Last but not least is that we have no, officers. Not, uh, uh, not right. You are entitled to one question. Okay. You just, are doing the fourth. Uh, I'm, I'm just the last person. So <laughs> let me finish with that. The you are not entitled to that latitude. You are in that. Time up. Okay. It is only one minute, Speaker, if you are in touch. Uh, we have quite a number of police officers who are graduates, who have gone to school, and their school, and we are aware that for them to move forward and get better remuneration, it was stopped. What are you going to do as the in charge of the department to make sure that we, we look at the issue of uh, those officers who are graduates? Thank you very much. If I've offended you, Ichungwa, sorry. You have not offended Ichungwa. You have violated the direction of the chairman. Thank you, Speaker, because he's repeating questions. Deputy Speaker. Honorable Chairman, uh, I just wanted to follow up with the same question that uh, Honorable Munugaru said, and I think some of my lecturers have said, why don't you assure them that you will have body cameras for all police officers who are going to be interacting with the public so they're not collecting bribes on the road and terrorizing motorists. They said it's well to take care of their welfare, but the public wants you to assure them that you'll also take care of their welfare against the police officers. And lastly, uh, I think as someone who's been falsely accused in the past, I think uh, you didn't get an opportunity to reconfirm that uh, on the initiation, uh, what had been said, to confirm that did you or did you not receive 15 million from NYS? I think it's important that that goes on the record. I didn't get the last one, the speaker, the chairman. No, the I last said one. you never got an opportunity to clarify the allegation that had been made by Honorable Mundani Opio. So I was saying you can use this opportunity to reconfirm that you indeed, uh, yeah, because it was not confirmed properly. Go ahead, Professor. 
Thank you, Speaker. Um, with regard to disasters, the Security Laws Amendment Act of 2014 made a lot of progress with regard to providing a multi-agency responses to security concerns. We have a, the country has a humanitarian disaster preparedness and response uh, mechanism, but that has not been well anchored in the law. My objective is to make sure that the same is properly anchored in law, but above that to integrate the civilian interventions and responses to disasters with the security agencies so that you have one uh, comprehensive response uh, which involves both civilians and also members of the uh, security forces. With regard to alcohol, I think it's a national problem, as I have said. And I think instead of uh, the top-down approach to the fighting of illicit brews, we may need to start conversations in the areas most affected by this menace of alcohol and drugs from the communities to help us generate the solutions. Because in the past, there have been very violent and decisive crackdowns on illicit brews and, 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 and alcohol, and, and perhaps the results have not been very, very uh, 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 successful. With regard to border borders and school buses, uh, I am aware that the National Transport Safety Authority is working on uh, policy on the transportation through border borders, transportation of school children and the use of school buses, and also transportation of dangerous goods. And that can be a good opportunity for us to define what traffic police can or should do. But on the direct question of roadblocks, I think the issue of roadblock is an outdated policy of traffic management and policy. We should move towards the digitization of road safety management to ensure that people who violate traffic rules are electronically identified and are also electronically punished so that you don't stop not just school children, you also don't stop not just border borders, but you also don't stop somebody coming from church with his family and because of uh, over speeding, exceeding the speed limit by a few kilometers per hour, you book them in a police station until the weekend is over when you take them to court. There are easier ways of electronically dealing with those uh, management of road safety. So we'll be following up on that. And those, uh, those spikes and uh, whatever are things Kenya should move away from, they don't look good. They even are sometimes causes of... Uh, uh, accidents and uh, lack of safety on the roads. With regard to the issue of, uh, of uh, area managers, it is my view, I believe, that area managers should be compensated for the work they do without affecting the budget because, again, the resource pass continues to remain the same and the needs are increasing day by day. With regard to the question of um, police people taking bribes, this is the lowest uh, uh, you know, image problem we have in the police force. I will take leadership in trying to ensure that the police are able to reclaim their position and dignity among the society. And we will take measures, both deterrent, but also through a reward system to ensure that it becomes, um, uh, you, know, uh, you know, corruption uh, becomes something that can be, um, uh, you know, it's an, ex uh, an exception uh, within the force by encouraging a reward system and a name and shame program within the force. With regard to uh, prison service, yes, the reforms that we intend to do in the police service will also happen in the police uh, uh, prison service, and in fact, since the departure of uh, 
The Honorable Mudia Warriors, Minister for Home Affairs, prison reforms have stalled. And this is an area which I think we require to be um, looked at afresh with a view of um, making sure that uh, these places become places of rehabilitation and correction of offenders as opposed to places where people go to commit even further crimes when they are already in custody. Finally, with regard to uh, recruitment, I want to promise this country and this committee that if I am approved as Cabinet Secretary for the Interior and National Administration, I will do whatever it takes to make sure that no Kenyan pays one shilling for their child who merits to be recruited within the police service, the prison service, and other formations under this ministry. Thank you, uh, Professor Abala. Let me also ask you just uh, two questions. Uh, the first one, Professor, is the integrity of the Kenyan passport. The Kenyan passport is uh, said to be one of the easiest to forge. Criminals from uh, our neighbors, our brothers 